Hi guys, welcome back to I'm Gizmuki. So if you have watched my previous video, I actually installed a Chinese generic uh, Android touch car stereo on a Balino. Now I had to change it to the Blopunk uh, Key Largo 970. So the reason being, uh, I had an issue with the audio actually. Uh, there was some static noise from the speaker that's coming out. I tried to change it, uh, the, uh, I got it replaced with the same model, but uh, even in that I was getting the noise. Uh, I tried uh, two more uh, generic uh, car studios actually, but even in that I was getting the same uh, noise. So I thought let's try with something maybe more uh, standard like uh, Blopunk or Pioneer or something like that. So they had this uh, Blopunk Key Largo 970. So I went with it and with this, the audio was really good. I didn't have any static noise issues. So I thought I'll shift it to it, though it costed more. The previous one costed me at around uh, 9,700 in total. This one costed me around 19,500 actually, almost double, more than double actually. So this, uh, the touchscreen uh, costed me around uh, 16,800, I guess and then uh, the frame costed me around 1200 after that the fitting charges so i was confused with whether we have to go with android auto or a fully android and finally took a call that i will go with uh, fully android because even if the android auto is not working because of some reason maybe cable issues or something fully android will have uh, the uh, maps though it is a little slow it will have a map which we can use by uh, your uh, wi-fi hotspot so that is the reason I went ahead with uh, fully Android. So in this video, I'll give you a quick overview of what are the features and uh, how does the interface look like and what all you can do with it. So let's start with, this is the home interface. You can see over here. Uh, this is actually very different from my previous one. The previous one was really good with the uh, car launcher. This is a very basic car launcher, the Blopung car studio comes with uh, it just has the icons of all the this is the video that uh, basically your uh, videos that are inside the car studio which are uh, connected these are the photos inside this is the bluetooth music that you can connect your phone to and play from here avn is basically i think uh, you can connect your uh, audio video or aux cable something like that these are the settings these are the settings for the uh, car studio this is the navigation which you can click and directly open the maps. I'll go back and uh, this is the radio. Let me just open. So this is the radio interface. This actually really looks very polished and uh, very neat actually. You can set a lot of uh, stations. If you can see the six stations, I can go to FM2 again, six more stations, FM3 again, six more stations. So you can set a lot of uh, radio stations in this and there's so many uh, feet or you would say settings also included i don't know what exactly these do uh, this is the only setting that i use to switch between uh, different modes of your uh, fm channels uh, remaining all i feel are very overwhelming actually i don't know most of them what we can do we can quickly search over here long press and it'll start searching so that is there so this is the radio interface this is also fine now this is the music again this music is the inbuilt uh, basically the music already stored in the uh, device or maybe if you are connecting any pen drive on it that will be shown and uh, this is the bluetooth phone for calls basically if you click on it it will show the contacts it will show the call log and all these are the call logs and these are the contacts if we want to do we can sync you can just click on the download and it will start downloading the contacts you can dial over from here and these are the settings my oneplus 60 is already paired now after that uh, you can swipe aside and you can see equalizer so this is basically a 10 band equalizer setting that you can control there's a loudness uh, option also where the music in immediately uh, increases its loudness there are different presets of classic flat pop and all and you can even customize as per your requirement which is good uh, apart from that you can see this file manager to see the files already in it and blackout is just to uh, turn off the screen and these are the basically steering wheel controls so over click over here and you can control the steering mounts basically these buttons you can uh, 
uh, tab pair over here that what button does what it is very easy process you can just you just have to long press tap over there for select a feature and uh, tap over here and long press so that that will be paired with that this is really useful feature now apart from that let's go into the settings so these are the settings so if you're going from start these are the wi-fi settings if you can see it will show the Wi-Fi is turned on and it's already connected and it will show the Wi-Fi devices so that's normal and uh, these are the Bluetooth uh, settings um, so it is Bluetooth is on and it will show what can wale, uh, wale. you can just tap over here and uh, mute it immediately so this is the call ring volume and what should be the call volume you can control that auto connect for that uh, the phone will be auto connected during a call and uh, these are the available devices now coming to display you can see day brightness night brightness you can control this and these are the wallpaper settings the time and date settings 24 hour format you can time zone you can change that and uh, going to next is the navigation so navigation shortcut you can change what app you need to use I'm using maps because maps go obviously as I said in the previous video doesn't work with landscape devices the navigation alert mix this is the alert mix basically whenever there's a navigation output coming like you have to turn left or you have to turn right you are saying something like that if at all there's a background music playing in behind like some Spotify music or something how uh, volume need to be mixed between the navigation volume and the music volume so if you keep it high so the music will not be interrupted much but it will be uh, distributed between the navigation speech volume and your volume the lower you keep the more will be the navigation uh, volume and less the background music volume so i want my navigation to be more clear so i'm keeping it on the lower value next is a steering wheel control as i showed you can just click you can just click some feature and long press a button it will take you to uh, it will map the key with that Next is the general setting. So the picture in picture mode is useful because if at all you're using something and using a map and going to home that will come as a shot uh, over here, a small picture in picture mode. So that is useful. Reverse camera mirror, basically this is useful but as I have reverse camera installed and I want it to be reversed, the picture coming from the camera, uh, you can tap on it and reverse the camera. So Bluetooth microphone uh, over here, you can see uh, let me just so, yeah this is the microphone external microphone uh, this comes along with the car stereo so uh, this needs to be used so that has been selected over here the bluetooth microphone quality is really nice i have to say this the previous one i had uh, was not so good uh, basically my wife and also my brother used to complain that i'm they were not able to hear properly with this uh, the audio quality is really good they have no complaints the assistive touch is basically like a home uh, what iphone users used to have a small icon where you can just tap and uh, get more uh, information or the actions to control uh, next is system cleanup to clean all the apps that are running in the background these are the factory settings Ooh, one, two, three, four. yeah it's one two three four sorry setting up a closed system you need to turn it off if you turn this off if you turn this on you will not be able to see the play store and install apps and all so you need to keep this in a open system so the closed mode needs to be not closed so that's where it will become like a fully android uh, device now the touchscreen info these are all uh, factory settings not much of useful these are all key lamp settings i use the key lamp illumination see if you can see if i turn this on these lights turn on even if it's not night or even if i uh, don't turn on the light so I generally keep this turn off because these are very disturbing uh, for a uh, daytime. So in the night time, whenever I turn on the headlight switch, then they automatically turn on. Not an issue. These are all uh, issue uh, settings that we don't need to go into. These are all vehicle parameter settings. So apart from that, you can see there's an app drawer over here. You can click on the app drawer and uh, all the apps that are installed on the device uh, shown over here this is the play store you can see that there's the play store you can install all the apps that are available on the play store like youtube spotify maps and everything there's google there's uh, 
Bluetooth and uh, I have installed Amazon Music and Spotify. I like Spotify better because Amazon Music uh, it is not taking the uh, skip next track uh, options from the steering control. I don't know why, but whereas the Spotify works really fine. And I would suggest to install Spotify Lite because it is faster to load and uh, now it's running in the background. That's why it loaded in faster, but. Uh, it takes a little bit of time, maybe 30 seconds for it to load everything and start playing. Uh, same with the maps also. Now I'll just open the maps. You can see it takes some time. I can click on go. It'll take some time for to load. Then it'll show all the options that are linked with my Google account. Then maybe I'll select some option so it is loading it is showing in time I'll click on start and uh, it will slowly show this I've clicked on start already and it'll take some time for loading everything and going back to the navigation I would say just like the experience I had in the Chinese generic uh, car stereo this also takes uh, for around roughly around 30 to 40 seconds to set up the uh, basically navigation and then start around so the navigation once starts i didn't have any much of a problem because the starting problem is there uh, for it to start it'll take around uh, 30 to 40 seconds then it'll start and working properly it'll also take more 30 to 40 seconds more to uh, set the gps uh, because once i start it actually tries to figure out where i'm going and all so I would say, you know, overall one and a half to two minutes it takes for it to set. After that, it works really fine. So that has been my experience with the navigation on this. Now, apart from that, uh, the features are you can also change the mode from here. I can click on the mode. You can see that I can switch to maps, radio, music, video, Bluetooth music, AV and all. So that is a good thing. This is a quick switch. Now, the last feature that uh, a lot of... Uh, um, car owners or the car shop owners don't tell about is one is the phone link so this feature you can connect your phone to this uh, car stereo by a usb wire and uh, your you can use uh, basically mirror the phone screen to it either by wi-fi or basically by the usb connection as i'm saying i would suggest to use the usb connection because it is more stable I'll just show you quickly. So on my phone, I have already installed uh, Easy Connect. So you can see I already have Easy Connect installed. So what I can do is I can connect to it. Let me just go with. So as both are already connected with Wi-Fi, you can see both are already connected with Wi-Fi. So it has already started if I started the easy connection on my phone it has immediately uh, basically started mirroring on the screen so let me just do something over here can see so this is a really nice feature as you can see is there's a small lag there's a small lag if at all i'm using wi-fi but if you use the usb connection it is very good actually there's no lag and it is very smooth and uh, you can easily use for navigation so that is a really nice thing basically uh, if at all you need uh, you're looking for something like a, uh, you are looking for something like a android auto kind of experience what you can do is you can open android auto on your phone and uh, connect it to the uh, and touch screen with the nav basically mirror the screen to your with usb and it looks like an android auto screen that's it guys uh, i really like this uh, blopunk uh, key lago 970 especially for the sound quality and the mic quality um, got, apart from that there are some issues uh, i would highlight this in my next video what are the things i really like about this and what are the things i dislike about this i will uh, share in the next video so make sure to subscribe and uh, press on the bell icon so that you are notified when i upload the next video about the key lago hope this video is helpful see you guys in the next video bye make sure to subscribe to the channel and follow me on social media let me know in the comments if you have any doubts bye and take care